Hi guys. So uh, yesterday I spoke a little bit about how we can control the situation through uh, what we're consuming and our lifestyle. And today I really want to talk about our mindset and how this can really help us in this journey right now. Um, I understand that a lot of people are really scared right now and panicked. And at the end of the day, we don't have a lot of control of what's going on around us. Um, but something that we do and always will have control over is our mindset and how we respond to things. So even if we don't have control over the external, we always have control over the internal. And our response will help really um, just alleviate some of this fear that we're experiencing right now. So some things that have really helped me in my path are, are three things. Um, my affirmations, my gratitude work, and visualization. So at this time, maybe pick a few affirmations, some positive affirmations that you can say on a daily basis. Um, and I always like to think about what is scaring me at the moment um, and really just sit down with this. I like to think about like, okay, what am I feeling anxiety about? What am I feeling fearful about? What am I just feeling uneasy about? And then I really just take the opposite of that and say a positive affirmation. Um, and so I, I, I just want to leave it very vague and open to you because I want you to really get creative with this and allow this to be true to yourself and your specific situation um, for whatever it is that you are uh, dealing with specifically in this time. And I would say pick about five to 10 affirmations and start your day with that. And also throughout the day, when you start to feel a little anxious, if you start to feel fearful um, and all of these negative uh, emotions, then go through your affirmation list and pick one that suits you in that situation. Maybe repeat it as a mantra. If you want to um, do some breathing techniques with it while you're repeating it over in your head, a lot of this stuff might seem woo woo, but at the end of the day, it's like, we don't have control over anything that's happening right now. We have very minimal, I should say, control over what's happening. So um, these really might help you in this time. And just, again, alleviating some of that fear, some of that pressure um, that you might be feeling at this moment. Um, so gratitude is another thing that I really want to incorporate um, is going over, whether it's physically writing it down or just mentally going over a gratitude list. And it doesn't necessarily have to be this rote thing where it's like, oh, I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for this. I'm grateful for that. And you're just saying it and you're not feeling anything. I want you to really sit down and feel what you're grateful for. Because when we have that emotion and it's tied to something that we truly do feel grateful for, we can have more peace in here and we could really um, bring about more positive into our life. So that is something that I definitely want you to incorporate is just going over some of the things that you're grateful for. And just mentally, it'll allow you to take a step back and instead of worrying about everything that could go uh, wrong, start focusing on the things that are good right now, the things that are still okay. And it will really just allow you to, again, it's all about having peace at this time. It will really just allow you to have more peace in this situation. Um, and last but not least, I wanted to go over a little visualization. And now the more I talk about this, the more I understand that I could go on forever about this stuff. So I will definitely make another video about this. Um, but I just wanted to keep it short and sweet about this specific situation uh, that we're dealing with. And um, a lot of times we, we play with visualization throughout the, throughout the day. Um, but it's usually in an, I don't want to say usually because everyone is different, but more commonly it's in a negative standpoint where we're visualizing what could go wrong, what else can go wrong. Uh, this would be so bad if this happened. And we're just really allowing the creative aspect of our mind to be used in such a harmful way. And so what we could do is flip the script and now use that creative aspect of our mind, but allow it to work for us, allow us to feel good about it instead of, because at the end of the day, everything that we're having play in our minds is, is imagination, right? So it's not really happening until we bring it in front of us. So why not start thinking about good things? Why not start allowing the imagery in your mind to make you feel good at this point, instead of just allowing more fear, more anxiety, and more unpleasantness that you're dealing with right now. Um, and so just sit with this and start to visualize. Again, I'm going to leave it vague because I want you to just roll with this and, and um, 
kind of take this in a direction that you want to and, and feels good to you, but really just sit there and, and think about things that make you happy. Um, maybe what are you gonna do once, once this is over? Um, and just really start to feel good. And this can allow you, again, to just kind of allow uh, the feeling of this out of control um, situation and, and kind of just let it go. Um, allow yourself to have more peace with this. I, I can't stress that enough that we can be making our internal environment so much, so much worse just by what we're playing over in our minds and the damage that we're doing. So we really do have so much control over what we're dealing with, with just focusing on our mindset. Um, and and I, I truly believe that. And a lot of times when people do start to incorporate mindset work, when they start to think from a more positive, peaceful, loving place, we do tend to find um, more answers. We can um, handle things in a much more clear-headed way. So know that the anxiety, even though you are feeling that, know that the anxiety and the fear can only make things worse. And if we are focusing on love and peace and how we can tackle things from more of a positive mindset in that framework, then we will have more control over our, um, even our family, um, our current state that we're in. So I just wanted to leave you with that today. Um, I hope you find it helpful. Uh, some of you <laughs> might watch this and be like, this is totally woo woo. This girl's crazy. Um, but I hope that this helps whoever is watching this um, and allows you to come to this position in a more peaceful state. So I wish you guys a happy Saturday and I will talk to you soon.